Well, hello everybody. This is going to be an instructional video on how to get a Cisco firewall 5505 ASA or 5520 ASA firewall to be able to route from the inside to um, interfaces to the outside using GNS3 as our emulation or simulation software. The reason why I'm doing this is for strictly one reason on the internet it did not have a successful uh, way of doing this I mean the ones that they posted said that they worked and I tried them and um, and I'm gonna show you what they were and they did not work for me they may work for you but I've used this method on both routers and um, or swouters level th uh, no, layer 3 layer 2 routers and it worked perfectly so I said why can't I just extrapolate that and use it in this topology likewise you know, all in the same, because it should just work, and it does. So we'll go through this. So this is my topology. Um, so I have my ASA in the middle here, which is the the firewall, and then I have my virtual machine using VMware Workstation, and then I have again another workstation, which is a DMZ or email server or web server, whatever you want to call it, or whatever you want to use it for. And then I have my Microsoft Loopback Adapter, and if you have any questions on setting that up, you're going to go ahead and just check on Google and Google it, and you'll find out how to set that up. If you want me to make a video on that later, then just please say so in the comments. Alrighty, so to get us started, I'm going to show you what the suggestions from the internet was. So this is a Windows 8 machine, and this did not work for me. And so go ahead and go open up your network sharing center. And you're going to go to change adapter settings. And here's what they said to do. So you're going to control click the Microsoft Loopback adapter and your, um, your internet uh, adapter. And you're going to click right click on either one of them and hit bridge connections. And it would make a separate bridge connection right here or anywhere and then you would go to your GNS3 configure and point it to your Microsoft Loopback adapter and then assign it a address here on this end and no matter what I did I could not successfully ping out to the 137.1 uh, or the even the interface from the command prompt I believe it was like 171 or 117 I couldn't ping the gateway the which is mine is 192.168.1.1 which is the default one and um, it just it could not get out. So here's how I went around getting around this issue. So you're going to go ahead and click on your internet. So in this case, this is my Wi-Fi internet adapter, and I just right-click and hit Properties. And we'll wait for this to load up a little bit. It just takes a a little bit. I don't know why. In the meantime, I want to thank. Uh, everybody for viewing this and uh, this is provided through uh, Vitech it uh, stands for visual innovative technologist so it's your one-stop shop for network engineering design um, web de web design and help desk support as well as EMR EHR solutions okay so now to get back to this if we're on our Wi-Fi you're gonna go to the sharing tab and it says allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection and when you do this, you're just going to be a drop down over here, and you're going to select your Microsoft Loopback adapter, like I did. Make sure that's checked. Hit OK. And Bob's your uncle. You should see the shared symbol now. Now, of course, with any uh, my I, um, with Windows 7 or Windows 8, the Loopback adapter should be 137 subnet address, and it is. Right? Yeah, right there. So that's good. So that's what we know thus far. And um, I just want to give everybody a, a heads up. If you're using Windows 7 Home Edition, there is a little workaround you have to do. So again, you're going to right click, go to Properties, go to IPv4 Settings. And under there, you're going to add a gateway. If you do not, you will have drop packets, it will be unsuccessful. Uh, I meant to go to the Microsoft Loopback adapter properties and that was fast uh, IPv4 
and you're going to type in your gateway, whatever that is, 137, as long as it's 137.2. And this is the interface for this firewall that you set up, which we're going to go over in just a moment. Okay, so this will make sense to you in a little bit. So this is if you have a Windows 7 Home Edition and you try to ping out from your interface here to your loopback, it will fail. Okay, so that's how you work around that. All right, now let's go ahead and set up our interface, as I mentioned. So you, I like using the terminal. I'll show you how to use a GUI. Um, that way you know. Ugh. Okay. Alrighty. So first things first. So let's go ahead and go into global config mode using conf t, which uh, configuration, and then you're going to go to your um, interface. So this is a little different from a router interface. Um, I believe it's IP. Nope. And interface. Ah, yeah, gigabit, Ethernet, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go to your GNS3, and you'll see which one it's connected to. So this is my third gigabit Ethernet connection. So gigabit Ethernet port switch or uh, port three, which is going out to here. So that's what we'll do. So we'll hit three, and then you're going to do IP address. 192.168.1377 net address dot two or dot five or anything you want else you call it two five five two five five two five five dot zero network and hit enter Boop. and I'll show you how to do it from the GUI so here we'll go into my Windows 7 virtual machine which is on the left hand side and we'll go ahead and log on to the ASDM so from that in, as you can see, the default gateway right there is the 10.1.68.1 network. And we'll continue and trust the certificate. I shouldn't have done that because no matter what, every time I reboot the router, it'll make a new self-signed certificate. So it'll always give me that warning. We'll let this load up for just a moment. And a good... So when we get here, you're going to go ahead and go to configuration on the top left. Uh, it's taking a little longer than I wanted. Okay, so configuration. Uh, sorry, I have to populate all this information. Okay, go to configuration. Wow. Go to interfaces. And in, you guys can ignore the DMZ, but... So my inside management port, which is what we're connecting to, is the 10.1.68.1 network. I have DHCP turned on on this specific device, I mean this uh, ASA, as you can see here. Boop. So if we went to um, CMD, IP config, it should be the first one in that pool. Yep, 51. So that's how we're doing that. We'll go back to the device setup interfaces. Okay, so once you got your management, you're gonna set up how you gotta get from the inside outside to the internet. So, like we said, we mentioned earlier, this is on Gigabit Internet three. So we're gonna go ahead and as do this. Now you don't want to add a interface because then it would just be a logical interface, not the physical one. So you're gonna edit it, and you'll just name it whatever you want. By default, if you name it in it. If you name this anything other than inside, then it will be zero by default, which is what we want. I just call it inside because it makes logical sense. And then that's where we'll put in our 192.168.137 subnet and change the ending octet. Then you're going to go ahead and put in your subnet mask using the drop down and hit apply or OK. And it will go through. All right. Now, next step, we're going to go to routing. Set up a static route. And from this static route, we're going to go ahead and type in... Actually, I'll show you from the terminal. For those who like the terminal like I do. We're going to go ahead and say route outside. And we're going to say any dot... 
so 0, 0, 0, 0.0.0 to any subnet on the 192.168.137, here's a key, dot one, right? We're trying to go from this subnet, we're gonna hop over to our Microsoft Loopback adapter, and then that gets passed through, through our 1.1 gateway. And then you'll give it a matrix of one, and this is an administrative uh, distance, not a typical matrix what you're used to in a router or OSPF or EIRGP, anything like that. So it's not what you think. So really it doesn't matter. And so you can give it a five for all I care. Okay, so how you do it in the GUI is you just add, um, say outside, you're going to go ahead and hit zero, stands for any give it that gateway that we just said, the 137.1, change the matrix if you like, you don't have to, and hit OK, and Bob's your uncle. Everything should be working just fine. However, on my home network here, um, we can try it. It might not work. I just noticed that um, my Windows 7 machine had a bit of an internet outage here, so we'll just test it. It, it might be up. Yes, I didn't think so. All right, I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to go to my router and turn it back on. So what was just a few seconds for you was an hour for me. So if we go here, what happened was network address translation was turned off. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and see um, that we have Internet access, and we can now that the static route is set, is able to reach to the outside, right? So remember, um, if you have the inside security level from 100 to 0, always remember it as water flows downhill. And so if you want to go from 100 to 50, you can do it. If you want to go from 100 to 0, you can do it 50 to 0. As long as it's going down, you can. So we're going to show you that I can now successfully ping out. Boom, 100%. Ping 8.8.8. .8 .8. we can hit it. Now, if you go ahead and open up this Windows 7 virtual box, we can see that we actually have internet access. So, if anybody has any questions on how to uh, make this work, or if, if they have something different in their topological layout and they have questions, please hit me up. Um, you can do so at newvitech.com and go to the contact us and send me that or just comment it in the comments and uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, what I did here um, if you need any help if you want me to extrapolate on how to set up loopback adapters how to set up these addresses um, how to set up the clouds here um, anything like that so other than that I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing <laughs>